Mayor Kate Gallego and Governor Doug Ducey are speaking to one another once again. This impasse, which we told you about, which began in early March, ended with a phone call this morning. The mayor says she is also talking with community members to resolve issues that have brought out nightly protesters in downtown Phoenix. Here's ABC 15's Melissa Blasius. With no signs of letting up, demonstrators march on downtown Phoenix. What started as a protest against Minneapolis police officers killing George Floyd has expanded to include demands to fully fund a citizens review board, cutting Phoenix police's budget, and justice for Dion Johnson, a man shot by a DPS officer last month. We are committed to building a safer, stronger, smarter community. I hope that they will see a way forward that includes public policy change. But uh, we understand that it, it's not our decision about schedule. The mayor says she's having discussions with community members through teleconferencing. She has no plans currently to speak directly with protesters, but that could change. So if my presence is helpful in finding solutions, then I want to be there. If people feel that it would be distracting or unsafe, and not lead to better conclusions, then um, I can continue to work on priorities and, and change at City Hall. The mayor is speaking directly to Governor Doug Ducey. After weeks of silence, the two spoke Friday morning. Gallego says they agreed to work together on dealing with homeless veterans, and she got a promise. He also committed to me that should there ever be a situation, such as he decides to implement a curfew in my city, that I won't have to find out by Twitter next time. Mayor Gallego says she will continue to push to fully fund the Citizens Review Board. That's about $3 million. Currently, it's budgeted at $400,000. I'm investigator Melissa Blasius, ABC 15, Arizona.